everybody, this is Leia, and it's time again for your readings by astrological sign. As I always say, your sun sign is only one part of you, so make sure to watch the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and any other sign that's particularly prominent in your birth chart. For this month, we are using a deck that I love, but was saving for a special occasion, so you've never seen it in our reading videos. It's Colette Baron Reads the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. It's that deck all the way to the left. We are doing something slightly different with our reading process this time, so pay close attention. For August, I am pulling two cards from the Enchanted Map Oracle for the first part of your reading, after which I want you to pick a card from the Osho Zen Tarot, which is that deck in the middle by choosing the one on the left or the one on the right, which you'll see in a few moments. This will personalize the first part of the reading for you. And then we are ending with one card from Doreen Virtue and Melissa Virtue's Angel Dreams Oracle to close your reading and give you something uplifting to take away from our session. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Even after the part where you choose the card on the left or the one on the right, you still have a message at the end of the video. Are you ready? Whenever you are, let's see what Spirit's messages are for you. Welcome Aries suns, moons, risings, and anyone else with strong Aries energy in their birth charts. Let's take a look at your cards. And you got home and wishing well. Together, these cards are telling me that by tapping into your personal truth and being at home in your own skin, so to speak. You are connecting with an energy where what you desire can more easily be manifested into physical form, as long as it is for your highest good, of course. You are being invited now to get in touch more deeply with your authentic self, with your higher self. Doing so will help you figure out what it is you truly want to devote so much of your fiery energy and time to, so that you don't waste it anymore on ideas that might have been more of a flash in the pan rather than something that really serves who you are as a divine being and unique individual. Since many of those with strong Aries energy typically want their accomplishments quickly, at least give your goals a strong foundation by making sure they are what you do want instead of simply being a fleeting inspiration. And now it's time to choose which are you feeling more drawn to, the card on the left or the card on the right. So if you chose the card on the left, you got the Page of Clouds, Mind. With this card added to the mix, your message becomes about not becoming enslaved to the workings of the mind. When we aren't aware, the mind can lead us into depression and fear because we aren't consciously programming it with inspiring and uplifting thoughts. So if you're either a worrier or someone who has a tendency to live in your mind or are an overthinker, this is a gentle reminder to not allow negativity from your ego or the voices in your head to derail you from manifesting the good we just talked about. Be the master over your mind, not the other way around. If you aren't mindful, pun intended, your mind can run the show. So plant the seeds of positive and optimistic thoughts in your head if you want results like this to manifest. And if you chose the card on the right, you got the King of Rainbows, Abundance. What this card is telling me is to pass the message on to you to dream big when working on your list of goals to manifest. Of course, you don't leave out what appear to be the small things that bring you joy. These are just as important as what seem to be larger manifestations. At the heart of your reading is the message that we live in an abundant universe, so allow yourself to dream. Don't limit yourself simply because you grew up being taught about scarcity or you yourself concluded after some painful experiences that there isn't enough to go around. It could be as well that the time has come to heal self-worth issues 
that keep you from embracing more abundance and allowing it into your life. And for your closing angel message, you have travel, journey, path, location. Okay, so for some of you, this is an actual indication of a trip or an opportunity to take a trip. But whether you're actually going somewhere else geographically or not, the message here involves movement. To keep things moving forward, to expand your world so that you grow, to keep learning so you remain aware of how your personal world is so small that you need not be so consumed with worry over some of the things that may be bothering you because there is so very much more that you could be doing with your life if you so desired. Certain issues we have just shrink once we open our minds and awareness to life on a greater scale. But as a side note, it could be true that for some of you watching this, there could be an upcoming change of location in your work or home. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe so you always stay updated and know about my little giveaways and contests you might want to participate in. Enjoy the month of August and I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now and namaste! Mm -hmm.